or have someone telling you that there is someone coming because you don't often see them until they're right on you. But uh, out of the corners, Ricky Dello's getting the power down better. It's just towards the end of the straight is where Randall and under brakes is making up that gap. And lap traffic is, is sort of playing a little bit in each. And again, Ricky Dello gets held up by one of the Mark cars this time. And it always works, or not always, but very often it works to the disadvantage of the race leader, doesn't it? Because He's a trailblazer. That's correct, yeah. Once the race leader goes through, the cars that are being lapsed become a bit more aware that there's likely to be other faster cars coming through as well. <laughs> and you can see down there how tight it is down at Turn 10 on that occasion. They come through there, and now they've got to, now they're getting in amongst faster cars. The likes of Scott Reed. It's the next one up up the road, and he wisely sees them coming. Now he's actually in between the two of them, so that's affected Randall. And Randall lost a bit out of that, out of turn two. And of course they got a, an, another car right up there in front of them. So it's a traffic management job for these guys at the moment. And look, there is another instance where that lap traffic has worked in favour of Randall because he's pulled right back up on the back of Riccadello. Is he going to have a shot down the inside? Oh, oh. They don't get closer. I think he might have given him a little push there. And up the inside, side by side through the fish from Riccadello will be on the inside for the next corner, turn nine. Randall hangs tough around the outside and he will go through to take the lead of the race with just over three laps remaining. Riccadello fights back on the outside into turn ten. He goes down the inside, gets it back off him. A little bit of a rub coming out of that corner. Riccadello gets it back. Randall has to get back in behind him. It's on for young wow. Noel with only a couple of laps left to go. So Tony doesn't want to give this one up. And he's locked it up at turn two. Randall back up the inside, heading up the hill. Two changes, three changes for the lead within the space of less than a lap. Wow. There, is, there are other cars racing here, folks, but we're not worried about them at the moment. It's all happening up the front. And they're coming up to laps of fast cars as well. It's not over. We've got two and a half odd laps to go, and they're coming up on the back of Joe Said in the Fiat. Rotary powered, and he's, yeah, he hasn't left a lot of room, but that's not his fault. And there goes Riccadello around the outside. Now, where can he line him up? More lap traffic ahead of them. It can play out in anyone's hands. Look at Ricky Delo under brakes. He makes up massive ground on Randall, who again is going to get balked by lap traffic. Randall moves it to the inside. I reckon Ricky Dello does have a bit of a straight line speed advantage. You can see it there in the Alfa Romeo. He closes in on the back of Thomas Randall. We've got two laps to go. What a thrilling race this has turned into between these two front runners. We've seen Ricky Dello oh. gives Randall a nudge heading up into turn three. Tries to go around the outside, cut back on the inside at four, and more lap traffic in front of them. Down the hill now. Goes to the Datsun without too many dramas. Now here we come down to the fish hook again. And if anything, Randall's actually got a little bit of breathing space if you want to call two car lengths breathing space. Out of that corner now, turn nine down the straight. And I think uh, Riccadello might be surrendering this one. Oh, I wouldn't speak too soon, Gary. There's still a lap left. Still more laps traffic that they're going to have to negotiate. And Thomas Randall a bit wide at turn 10. I was trying to make the point before that I reckon Ricky Adello's advantage is in a straight line. Randall was a bit stronger through the more technical parts of the circuit. But between the two of them, they have put on an absolute thriller motor race for us this afternoon. Yeah, if they catch these cars up in the last little bit, it might be on again, but oh. I think Tony's settling for second. I wouldn't say that yet, Gary, because... Thomas Randall's going to catch those three laps cars again at the worst possible time. He ducks to the inside of Shane Bradford heading down into the fish hook. He'll have to negotiate his way past the Michael Robinson, Monaro, and also the Grant Dorman Falcon as well through turn number nine. And he gets balked, Thomas Randall. Can he slip up the inside of Robinson? He does on the run into turn number 10. Just. Robinson gives him just enough room to sneak through on the inside. Checkered flag at the ready this time around. Ricky Dello, an excellent exit from turn number 10. They're going to be nose to tail across the finish line. And in an absolute crack of sports now race here at Wakefield Park, 
for the opener. It's Thomas Randall who emerges on top. What a thriller.